here's the Wixi sensor and it slides up and down on the bar and what the Wixi uh, kit comes with is a piece of metal with a magnet on a bolt and their suggestion is you attach that metal somewhere then the Wixi sticks to the magnet and as the router moves up and down it moves this with it. So that all works fine but what I found was the readings were not perfectly uh, repeatable and I figured that was because as you're going up the Wixie would tip this way and as you're coming down it would tip the other way. So up, down, see that little tipping. And that created a non-repeatability of 0.01 or 0.005 inches. So what I did was I decided it would be better to grab it on both sides. I got two metal plates that are more rigid than the little thin bar that comes. These are about 1 16th inch thick. I was going to attach this with magnets here, that would be fine, but I thought, you know, really there's no reason I can't bolt that on. Before I drill the holes that are going to line up the tabs of the Wixie sensor with these metal plates, I'm going to check that the ruler is perpendicular in both directions, and also check that these two tabs are resting uniformly on the metal pieces here. Not that one is hitting first before the other, because that's going to then cause the Wixie to be on a bit of like a, a tilt, which isn't good. You want it freely moving straight up and down. Okay, I've got the two bolts in with nuts and lock washers underneath, and the ruler is still square in both directions. I really like this security, you know, especially when the um, cable goes in, and as the router moves up and down and the cable does this sort of thing, it's not going to be pushing the thing off the magnets sliding around. So here I'll bring the zero up to that scratch mark. This display is reading zero 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 because that's what I calibrated. And now I'll go down a bunch of turns, come back up, one more, back at zero and back at zero there. So excellent repeatability and that's what I was not getting when I was using the single bracket that was supplied with the Wixie. Now if I go up and then back, I don't get exactly zero here and I think that is the hysteresis of the threads on the um, Jessam lift. Because if I go back this way and come up clockwise, meaning raising the rotor, then I always go to zero. So I think for consistency, as long as I always move in the same direction, let's say clockwise to be lifting the rotor up, then you can get excellent repeatability.